thank you very much for the invitation. Nadina, Romanian based in Romania and due to technical reasons I was not able to to film in the the main so I will be adding myself to the list in Bucharest, Romania. And also to that uh, tiny spot. I was just looking now and you see from time to time I can move so you can check the time because I have uh, on my back uh, a color that matches the color color of my t-shirt that was not intentional but it happened so yeah from time to time just checking you see this is how i check time yeah, with the research strategy um as laimonas was saying yeah I'm, i do speak now on, on behalf of the researchers group but yeah it's basically as most of us in the youth field it's not the only hat i wear because uh, i'm coming from the the youth sector so basically having a background in 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 youth work and training, so moving in the research side late, later on. So this is why I really enjoyed working on, on these projects related to looking at solidarity in the youth projects and how things rolled in the community because half of my life I've been working in, in rural areas with uh, groups of young people and trying to understand what could work better in supporting their development. Uh, so open to to discussions um, regarding opportunities for young people uh, with vulnerable uh, background and also with peer opportunities. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, I'm, I'm a researcher, part of those two researchers, um, uh, communities that you'd find mainly like quite active at the European level. So that would be the full of European youth researchers and the um, European uh, Center of um, on knowledge on youth policy so that are the the two networks of the youth partnership and also if you want to document yourself on what's happening in the youth field the, the european commission there's also the youth wiki network so just to type the, the name of your country and also youth wiki and you'll find amazing resources about the youth sector there uh, but yeah, coming back to, to the project we've been running, it was not the, the first publication I was working for because it, it was already the, the fourth one where we tried to look and to understand how this, this European solidarity program like, really reflected in reality. Um, and we started with volunteers, experiences, and then moving to organizations. And the last year was somehow the, the challenging part in understanding what stays when projects come to an end. So basically, thinking of the impact and what was really the 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 impact produced would be to to think of of that question and to think what stayed after your project came to an end. And somehow this is also what I'm asking the youth groups I meet and they have this great idea of running projects and do the change in their, com in their community, which is great. And we are always empowering youth groups to do that. But there's always the question of the, the capacity to, to maintain the change that is being produced. So if you look to, to our presentation, basically it's the, the three main stakeholders we've been approaching when looking at the, at the impact of the project. So, the first one would be at the individual level because it's extremely relevant thinking of the young volunteers and also young people involved with the projects and i do believe that the within the the structure of the program thinking about the solidarity project is the key in the groups of young people then we move to working at the organization because basically the role of the project would be to, to add something to the organization basically to support the organization in the development and people will say yeah but at the, the end of the project, like the, the organization was not that sustainable anymore. And that's something that, again, you should be thinking about so what, what adds uh, to your organization and also to the community. And what was extremely interesting when we looked at these projects was to, to understand basically that the impact was great in being able to, to build up connections between different age groups. And I think that's something that came automatically was the intergenerational um, dialogue that has been created. Uh, also, what's interesting to see is that a lot of the volunteers who had been joining international projects decided to stay. So that was also an added value to, to the organization. But then a lot of other projects didn't really have a plan to support the outcomes at the end of the project. And that was another like interesting point and you'd find it also in the conclusions as well. Thinking of how do we approach this transfer of what we do to other actors in the community or to think of 
project that would come and support what's being happening. Uh, we also found great initiatives where the local authorities decided to to support the project at the end of the like the, the outcomes of the project when the intervention has been finished and basically from the researcher's point of view that would definitely mean the sustainability um, again more about the, the research and i would really encourage you to go to to check also might be uh, even projects in your countries or projects that would be like very inspirational for you and what is also important is that you can find there the links and the contact details. So yeah, also great partners uh, within the list of projects. But again, coming back to the initial question, so what stays basically in, in the community with the learning experiences and also in the organization when, when the project is finished? So think about the question from the beginning of the process. I know it's not on, on project writing, but basically that envisions the plan that you have for the end of the project and also speaking of the impact. It's always complicated to speak of evaluation, impact, monitoring, or all these, uh, let's say, like fancy concepts. And we in the youth field at times would think that, okay, these are very sophisticated for the projects and the activities we do, but are basically the essentials. So if you do perceive social change without thinking of the impact and also on how to support these outcomes, then it's hard and complicated to to approach what what's next. So that's why I would encourage you to to look around, to also to reflect on the projects that you've been implementing so far, and to collect what stayed at the end of the project in your organization and also in the community. With the individual processes and the individual learning processes, it's also always complicated, and we've been highlighting that in the report because there's a lot of learning that's happening outside the project as well and especially when you speak of the international volunteers learning experiences well somehow their their social life outside the the project is extremely important as well and yeah, you cannot measure who who contributed more like the activities in the project or the life they have while interacting with the locals but that's also an, an important part in their decision, whether they decide to, to stay there, to live, or yeah. Even yeah, some of them would say, well, if that was not for me, and I, I decided not to continue the, the learning within the project. So just be, be open to all these learning experiences. And now I'm just doing that move, yeah, and looking back and, and seeing that, yeah, there's, there's some, some time that has been going. And also, yeah, just feel free to, to ask. And also in the chat, you can also post questions regarding like different research materials that we can provide you with looking at the impact of the learning experiences in, in all these this projects. And also if you're looking for, for contacts or for, for networks of, of researchers, youth workers, just feel free to ask and I'll, I'll do my best to, to provide you with some contacts.